Hey guys, Dan here with GetTheSmokeOut.com. You know, I had a phone call yesterday and uh, the prospective customer was very skeptical. Somebody who'd been, you know, in the business, been running the VFW Hall Bar for probably a couple of decades. They've had some bad experiences with some electronic smoke eaters. And, um, you know, when I recommended what I recommend, our filtration-based smoke eaters, he was very, very skeptical. He goes, how do I know these work? Um, and it's a very legitimate question because if you've had smoke eaters that aren't doing the job and you spent thousands of dollars on them, you know, however many years ago, in some cases they don't work. Well, there's a couple of reasons for that. One is uh, wrong technology, and I talk about that a lot. I don't like the electronic smoke eaters. They zap, they pop like bug zappers. They have a useful life in them before you need to start replacing the main internals of them, which is very costly. They're time consuming and messy to clean or costly to clean if you outsource it and therefore they don't get cleaned off it enough and therefore they're not gonna work if you're not maintaining them. So the electronics are definitely not what I recommend. I've never sold them, I never will. I think it's just a bad technology for a fairly simple problem. I use filters, it's pretty straightforward. Pre-filter, carbon filter, HEPA filter. It's not rocket science. It's actually extremely simple, easy to maintain, five minute filter change once a month. It's less than a buck a day for the filters per machine. So if you got three machines, it's still less than $3 a day. If you sell an extra cigar or two or an extra drink or two a day because you've got a much healthier, cleaner, more comfortable environment for your customers and patrons, wow, these things pay for themselves. So again, let's get back to the skepticism. You know, this gentleman was saying, how do I know they work? Well, bottom line is, if you get enough power to filter the air often enough, meaning enough times an hour, and you've got filters that are specifically selected for tobacco smoke, there's nothing not to work. In other words, it ain't rocket science. It's like you get a brand new vacuum cleaner. How do you know it's gonna work? Well, because it's got suction. It's got brushes that brush the carpet, and, and it works. So why would it stop working? Well, if you never empty the bag in the vacuum cleaner, eventually it's going to stop working. So if you don't maintain even our machines, if you never change the filters, they're going to stop working. You're going to strain the motor, potentially even blow it out. The airflow is going to get less and less and less. The longer you've got the machines, and the more smoke is captured in these filters. So you got to maintain them. You got to change the bag of the vacuum cleaner. You got to change the filters in our smoke eaters. Um, but they work. You know, I recommend minimum 10 air filtrations an hour. That means every six minutes, you're dragging the entire room worth of air and smoke through the filters. That means there's never any more than six minutes worth of smoke in the air, which is great. There will always be some. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's instant. But boy, it ain't rocket science. So if you're skeptical that our commercial smoke eaters actually work just talk to me ask for a quote I'll give you a recommendation that I can actually personally guarantee will work 90 day money back guarantee no restocking fees look you don't like it we'll take it back and nobody sends their equipment back so smoke eaters do work you got to get the right type you got to get enough of them because if I tell you you need three machines and you buy one and you say, hey, Dan, these don't work. Well, of course it's not going to work. That's like trying to, you know, heat your bar in Florida with a window air conditioner when you got 3,000 square feet. That's not going to work. You didn't get enough of the technology. So it really isn't rocket science, guys. Smoke eaters work, the right filters, and enough power to handle the size of your space and filter the air at least 10 times an hour. Heck, in, in bars, cigar bars, cigar lounges, I recommend upwards of you know 12 to 15 air filtrations an hour, especially if you're holding events. But look, if you get the right amount of filtration, it's flat out gonna work. People are gonna love it. So if you got questions, leave them down below uh, about either this video and this topic, or in general about smoke removal. Whether you're a homeowner, a business owner, let me know what kind of questions you want me to answer in these future videos, and I'll be glad to do so. If you'd like to talk to me, my toll-free number is 
888-472-8736. Again, 888-472-8736. Go to getthesmokeout.com. My phone number's there as well. My name is Dan. Call me. Let's talk. Let's see if we can figure out how to solve your smoke problem right away. Thank you. Talk soon.